Hello, everyone. So, what we have here is a lock that managed to break a pick of mine. Um, the anonymous supporter sent this one in said that he, um, it wouldn't open anymore. And I tried to pick it and broke a pick. And the reason why I broke a pick was because the core was 180 and I didn't notice it. So what that means is when you normally have your pins up here and you're pushing up, they've got room to go up into the Bible. But when you're 180 and you go to push your pins, um, they're all going to feel like they're set <laughs> because you're upside down. Anyway, what I had to do, um, normally what I do on these locks, uh, this is one of the ones that had the the black um, shield here, and whenever you run into those, those are usually riveted. So what I usually do is pick the lock open, go down in here, and drill. Drill from this end. It's usually pretty easy. You don't have to go very far, and boom, um, it falls out. Oh, that wasn't possible on this one. So what I had to do was drill from this side. And what I did was I took a smaller drill and tried to find the center of this piece as much as I could. And this is a replacement piece. Um, so you can see how they're domed and everything. They're designed to to make you run off and everything. But if you do it right, anyways, I was a little bit off center. I was a little bit high on the one that I had. And uh, so I, when I was drilling, I finally got, I was looking down here and I saw this edge was starting to break through. And then I got that edge and I got it to come out, but the end was still flared. So um, I couldn't drill this way because it was free spinning now. It's not being held. And... I couldn't drill this way either, so what I did was I took a screwdriver and I pushed on this post until this piece was sticking out a little bit up here. And that's why you can see a little bit of the grinder mark, because I took a bench grinder and I just started grinding this thing down. It was actually this end. I started grinding it down until I got that head, that bloomed part of it off, and it would just fall through. Um, kind of a pain in the butt. But anyways, besides all that, what we have inside of here is a master lock core. This is not an American lock core, but um, America was American lock was bought up by master lock. So um, the thing about these are they're crimped cores, but uh, that crimp right there corresponds to, if you turn these guys like this, It'll just slide right in there past that crimp. So, you don't have to grind anything out. You don't have to do anything. You just have to get your plug oriented like that. All right. See how it goes in? Um, and there's no retaining clip. There was no retaining clip on this. It's just held in by that mechanical aspect of it so yeah there you go um and these are the pins that are inside they're all standard except for this guy which is one of those anti-bump pins let me see if i can zoom this guy in yeah that's an anti-bump pin basically it's a little bit smaller i mean a little bit bigger than the rest of the drivers and it's got that little ledge on it usually they have a different spring in there like a stronger spring to make that resistant also but that's it it's a five pin all standard pins and pin number two was that anti-bump thing so if you go on ebay or something like that or maybe there's uh, some kind of lock supply place i found these on ebay and these are basically the american security pin um screw and nut so when you draw when you drill one of these guys out this little nut can replace it and you'll have a removable core 
after that. It just fits right in there. And that screws down. Right, so there you go. Just wanted to show you what's inside one of these uh, U.S. set American locks. I'm trying to look up that date code and find out what year that was. But before that, the American locks had a pretty decent standard American core in there. It's not this copper washed. I believe this is copper washed zinc. That's all that is. So there you go. Thank you for watching and happy picking everyone.